Riders and welcome on my cooking channel. Today we are making pasta alla bolognese, which is a typical Italian dish, Neapolitan dish actually. Can I tell you that this is a bit off topic? Nah, bolognese is never off topic. In the end my girlfriend is right, but this is not gonna be a cooking video anyway. So early the next morning. Every painting day I wake up and I film myself during the preparation. But did you ever wonder about what Kira does? Good morning. Okay, the truth is that I'm lazy today and I don't want to film stuff. Perfect. Thanks to my editing, obviously. Oh yes. Meanwhile... Yes, Kira is working hard and I am only chilling at home, but now it's time to get my channel back. <laughs> you stole my channel! Oh, ma che cazzo di non Ma tutto bene! Ma che devi fare? But of course I just filmed it. No help for you, dear Kira. By the way, Eras got a special tool today. Scusi, scusi, può spruzzare? Ma dovrebbe uscire della vernice? Sì. E allora abbiamo qualche problema, mi sa. Elementare, what's since I'm poor and I don't have any expensive painting gun that doesn't work anyway, I can paint right now. Houston, we got a problem. You are seeing a part of Eras piece with four. I repeat, four coats of paint. And it looks fucking transparent. And this is because of the wall, that is virgin concrete. We should do many pre-coats with a thick white, but we don't have it. So this could be a big problem. So, I didn't sketch yet. I want to understand if uh, it will be worth it. I don't know, honestly. So, SpongeBob, say something. One eternity later. Well, he is a figlie bukido. Yeah, a motherfucker, because Kira will only finish his first lines and then he will go home, leaving me alone to paint our project. It doesn't make any sense. And since the wall is a shit and I should also paint alone, well, I will search for a better wall. Moments later. Fortunately, I just found this wall here. It has one problem. It's half facing in a hole, but I can manage it. And uh, to be honest, I'm definitely tired of searching. I want to paint. Before get started, outline and 3D background, more background. This one will not be used because it's for the other project. And super cheap fill-in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vent from the Future speaking. I just wanted to tell you that this packet will definitely fuck my day. You will see why. So I think that this NE sketch will disappear now. You can see there is my classic T on the wall in this moment, but I decided to change it into another type of T, like this one, in a sort of lowercase style, because the normal one was too big for the space left on the wall. Yes, I started sketching too much towards the right, but honestly I don't want to re-sketch everything, so I'm trying to fix it like this. And I'm also trying a bit different kind of throw up ears today. Maybe a bit weird, but could be cool. So, I finished the sketch. As you can see, it's a bit uh, messy. But anyway, I also started to sketch the 3D over there. But as you can see, I have to do the filling first. Otherwise, it's impossible. But first, I have to do something much more important. And I am obviously talking about eating tons of food. In this case, muffin powered by my mother. Buon appetito, dear riders. 20 minutes later. Hell yeah, guys, cheap filling time. But as you can see, this time I'm not that lucky with the paint. Yes, most of the bucket that I use are saved by me from the trash. Cheap and eco-friendly, but risky. As you can see, here, 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 porca madonna, here, we have several problems. Uh, basically because the paint 
is like water so the coverage is fucked up so it will need approximately two or three coats of paint so let's go later well writers have done the second coat of paint it is a bit better but the problem is always the same basically i was not that smart because i sketched a lot of lines with the black but uh, i didn't know that the bucket paint was so terrible so the black lines are still visible and probably they will be visible at the end i will settle for it i will do another cut of paint but i will settle for it i cannot do anything else basically so let's do this last cut of paint it's incredible how useless this last coat of paint is nothing changed the opacity of this bucket paint is very fucked up guys you have to believe me, I really want to leave it like this in this moment. The first lines are still visible, so at the end it will look like shit. I'm a bit sure of this in this moment. And I'm pissed, I'm frustrated, but I can't leave it like this. I have to continue. As Moe always says, even if something is not going well, you have to continue. So, what can I say if not? Let's go on. Oh, on a jammer on. Well, uh, this background is a little bit messy, a little bit confusing, but it's a background. That's something okay for my current mental situation. I know it's ugly, I know, but it's something, it's something, okay? It's something. 3D time. Okay, let it be. To be true, it's outline time and then 3D, but whatever. By the way, I am sorry for the sort of flickering of the white balance. Some clips are yellowish, some white. I'm sorry, my action cam is definitely fucked up. I don't know why. I've just done this little part of 3D here because I wanted to understand if it is gonna look good with the 3D or not. Actually, it looks like shit to me in this moment, but anyway. The original plan for this 3D was this pink, but as you can see, it's not that visible and even when it's visible, it's ugly, basically. So I will make the 3D only in red. I turned off the camera and I had 30 minutes almost of total mental breakdown. You know that feeling when you see everything completely dark all around you, when everything look like shit. I guess that most of the writers and artists in general know it. Then something started to change and get better in my head. Well guys, this is the situation I really wanted to leave. I was really about to leave it like this, without these effects that I made off camera. But when I was about to leave, I decided to do these elements and then it escalated a bit with this sort of lightning, I don't know, that are not that uh, cool, I don't know, but I called my girlfriend. She's coming with uh, some colors, some white and black to adjust it. And then I will, uh, I will stop because I'm done, basically. After a few minutes, my girlfriend came bringing me not only the colors, but also a coffee and my favorite pastry. If this isn't love, I don't know what love is. She made me feel a lot better, so that I could finish the piece. I mean, it isn't super cool, neither cool maybe, but is acceptable at least. And without her, it wouldn't have been possible. She is the most important person of the day. Hi! Anyway guys, let me show you the final result. But as always, let's analyze it. First of all, the balancing. 
The V and the T are pointing down to the center of gravity of the piece, so they are symmetrically slanted. On the other hand, the E's and the N are not slanted at all. I mean, the N is not static like the E's at the end, but its center of gravity is in its middle. So at the end, these three letters are pointing straight to their bottom. I have to say that if we talk about the balancing of this piece, isn't that bad. But there are two problems. The V is bigger than the T and this is a punch in the eye when you look at the piece. I don't know honestly if in English this means something. The second problem are the errors. Not the fact that they aren't on the same axis, but the fact that the right one sticks out more than the left one. And this is a punch in the other eye. I am so poetic today. Anyway, let's talk about the letters. They aren't that bad. The V is classic and cool, but this lead is really ugly and bad placed. It should be mirrored with this one. The throw up is are very cool in my opinion, half letter and half throw up, like this one, but backwards, because the normal letter part is on the top. Weird but cool I would say. They are looped together with this loop, that's well done, otherwise the loop with the end, and it doesn't have so much sense to be honest, the idea is nice but I don't know, it doesn't look cool, it's a bit crooked. The bridge, as I call it, that loops the V and the N is my classic one. The junction is okay, but this line should be a bit sharper. In that way, it would point correctly towards this angle. As it is now, is a bit crooked, but it's okay. About the T, I like it and I hate it at the same time. The letter structure is solid, but the bottom part, I mean the arrow, is a bit too upwards. And the letter in general is a bit too thin, especially compared to the V. Even if, to be honest, is the V that is a bit too fat compared to the others. Anyway, as you can see, I have done a 3D, but not on the throw piece, as always. By the way, there is a darker red shaded in it, but it's not visible at all, as you can see. Honestly, I don't like one color 3D that much, so... I don't like this one at the end, but whatever. About the background, well, while I was making it, I was super comfortable with it, I had the feeling that I was making something great, but it isn't that great at the end, it isn't a shape, it is just a giant ugly stain, too big compared to the piece and all the effects are just ugly. On the other hand, I like so much this sort of lightning effect. It's cool and it's something that I want to do in the future pieces as well. It was totally freestyle, incredible. So, this is not my best piece so far, but it's acceptable in my opinion. And if I look at the process, it could be even worse. So, it's okay. Today's message is, we are all failable. There is no need to be ashamed. The days when we fail are the most important for the improvements that they produce. So writers, don't be scared of failure and don't believe the hype. That's it for today. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video, leave a like, tell me what do you think in a comment and see you next time.